where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. Today I'm coming to, to celebrate and to cry in a way. I, I just accepted another position out of Ethiopia. I'm going to be transferred from this beautiful country. I've been here for four years, serving as head of the humanitarian communication, the United Nations humanitarian communication outfit. It's been a joy. I came here October 2015, just when this country was dealing with El Nino drought. And in the last four years, I've seen Ethiopia unveil itself as indeed an amazing country. This is a beautiful, powerful country. As the head of a communication, the United Nations communication, I've always had to reconcile two narratives. Yes, the country was dealing with drought, and El Nino imbued drought, but in this country, I discovered what has become some of the most amazing, beautiful spots in the world. The hot spring. Some of the most beautiful, gracious women in the world are here. The best artists are here. I've traveled through this country and been and marveled at the kindness, the beauty. When I was posted here, my dad told me this. He said, Oh, my dear, you're going to the capital of Africa. And it is indeed the capital of Africa. The economic community for Africa is here. The African Union is here. But that is not only what makes Ethiopia the capital country of Africa. There's a peace, a sense of peace that is fueled through the, the religion. Like right now, Ethiopia is fasting. There's a sense of strong religious presence that keeps everybody kind to each other. What has impressed me the most too is how I've watched this country go through a transformation politically. And my dad told me too that Ethiopia has a strong, long history. It's going to deal with its issues, its political transformation in a sophisticated way. And I found it to be so. I will leave this country in two weeks. I've served this country for four years. I came here with my son. And, and, and this country was kind to me and my son. And I literally adopted another son here. So, you know, this has been a beautiful country. This has been a beautiful country for me. It's been a, been a beautiful country for my son. This country has been kind to us. What I hope the world will take from what I'm saying is that Ethiopia is going to blow your mind. This is a powerful country. This is a country of people who love their country, who are clear about who they are, very proud. And we've not seen the last of this country. This country will blow the world's mind. It's a, one of the fastest growing economies in the world right now. And while I was here, Ethiopia formed its own humanitarian needs. Ethiopia is a beautiful country. I'm living now to for about almost five years actually, but I carry this country in my heart and always will. Thank you Ethiopia for being kind to me and my son. Thank you Ethiopia for giving my son and I hope. Thank you. I'm Masa Gennalo.